Four minutes to practice democracy. The founding fathers must be rolling over in a grave. I'm here to talk again, because of lack of time, about the Tower Lab. Okay? Um, I want to know if the council has filed for a what's called an AFG, which is an assistant assistance to firefighters grant. Okay? Because you haven't, uh, according to your own survey, as I said, the I told you so survey, there's no, you're not budgeting in the capital budget from now until 2031 for the replacement of the fire apparatus. So it would make sense that you would apply for an AFG since Fort Worth, Texas got 1.35 million by applying for one of the grants. Westover, Alabama, $619,000. It goes on and on, okay? So if you're not applying for a grant and you haven't budgeted for money in the capital budget, then that tells me you have no intention of acting on your own consultant's report, which says that that tower ladder needs to be replaced, okay? Some people posed with the fire apparatus on their campaign literature. And it takes six years, six years, just to hire a consultant? That tells me, as somebody in emergency services, that that safety issue is not a priority. You don't take six years to address a safety issue. Apparatus costs have gone up 40% since the beginning, beginning of COVID. In New Jersey, that would be 2020. So already, the rig you're gonna replace, the one for 1.2 million, that's costing the taxpayers an additional $480,000. Okay, if you had bought that when we told you to, that rig would have cost roughly six, dollars $700,000. The tower ladder, the clock is running. Apparatus costs went up 10% 10, 10 from 20, 2021 to 2022. 2023 isn't in yet. So that's a $2.5 million piece of apparatus. It says in the, in the, uh, the consultant's report, you put 700,000, you allotted 700,000 for apparatus pur purchases. That isn't even gonna cover half the price increases from 2018 until now. So what are you gonna do? What are you gonna, what are you gonna tell George? He's sitting right back there, a firefighter. Oh, we don't have the money for you. That's nonsense. Councilwoman Matheson is saying, oh, well, it, it's an expenditure of between one, one, mil, uh, one million and three million dollars. It's not a lump sum. If you bonded that over 20 years at today's rates, the entire 2.5 million for the, for the tower ladder, you know what it comes out to? For a house assessed at a million dollars? You know what it comes out to a year? $58 a year to the taxpayers or 16 cents a day. You know what? I'll tell you what. Here's the next week for you. George's life to me is worth a hell of a lot more than that. So to drag your feet, to continue to drag your feet and tell them to respond to emergencies on antiques. Three of the four apparatus Mr. now classified by New Jersey Motor Vehicle Mr. Law. Ben, could you keep your, your voice down? You know what, this is an emotional issue to me. I and you know what, that. I'll tell you something. I'm given four minutes to express my dissatisfaction. Councilwoman Matheson last time said, oh, we can send you emails, we can meet with you. Well, I'll tell you something. I only see two council people up there with posted office hours. And Councilwoman Matheson, because I, I, I spoke like this in a meeting before, she said to me, don't, don't email me anymore. When she initially contacted me. And if you think that I was, okay. that I was overly she, critical, I will. Council, Council President Matheson is not here. Right. And you, uh, can you complete your thought, please? Okay. I dare her. She can remove the, the uh, personal information. Let the public just take a look at this email and decide if I was out of line. Because I can't talk, I have to talk, limit my, my comments to four minutes. Four minutes to address my government. Thank you, Mr. That's... <laughs>
Democracy in action.